Hello, everybody. Let's sing the We Wish You Well song. Just so you know I'm singing to you, I'm going to add your names in today. We wish you well, Lamari, Elias, Sky, and Sinai. We wish you well, Leo, Nico, Nevea, and Lily. All through the day today, Zyliana, Xavier, Tinu, and John. We wish you well, Joe Reese, Carter, and Kaylee. Hope everybody has a great day today. When we were back in school with Miss Jill, we talked a lot about our second step skills. And I hope that even now when you're at home doing your homeschool learning, that you're still talking about those second step skills. Those skills are going to help you be better learners in kindergarten and help you get along better with your other friends that are in kindergarten. I know something that will help them in kindergarten. You do? Yeah, I'll show you. You guys guess, okay? Okay. Let's see. She's pointing to her eyes. She's pointing to her ears. She's got her finger over her mouth. Now she's got her hands and arms to herself. I know what she's trying to show us. Do you guys know? Let's all say it together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. The listening rules. Is that right, Amy? Mm-hmm. The listening rules help me be a good listener at group time. And they'll have group time in kindergarten, too. Will you help us practice the listening rules? Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to do the actions and we're going to sing the words, okay? Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices off, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at group time, at group time. Group time's a great time to use your listening rules because you'll have that in kindergarten too. But can you think of any other times to use your listening rules, Amy? Hmm, story time, and lineup time, and cleanup time. Yes, those are all times that you'll have in kindergarten too that you'll be able to use the listening rules. So I'm so glad that we've learned them this year. You guys did a great job with that. Do you remember our song that we learned toward the beginning of the year about our how to learn song? Yeah, I remember part of it. Um, we use the listening rules. We use the listening rules. This is how we all can learn. We use the listening rules. All right, there's another verse I want to sing about. I wonder if you'll remember this one after you see the attentoscope. We focus our attention. We focus our attention. This is how we all can learn. We focus our attention. Yeah, I remember the attentoscope. And I remember you're supposed to use your self-talk and you're supposed to repeat your directions and say what you want or need. There's lots of different ways to learn. Yes, we talked about a lot of them when we were in school, didn't we? Would you like to use your listening rules right now at story time and listen to the story that I have for our friends? Yeah. Okay. Our story today is called Inch by Inch. The author and illustrator is a man named Leo Liani. His picture book won the Caldecott Honor Award. The Honor Award means it was one of the best picture books that year. Inch by Inch. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, as green as an emerald, sitting on a twig, and he was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me. I'm an inchworm. I'm useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. 
That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin. My tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew away to where the other birds needed to be measured. He measured the neck of the pink flamingo, the beak of the toucan, the legs of a heron, the tail of a pheasant, and the whole hummingbird. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song, or I will eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. And then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. The nightingale sang, and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured. Inch by inch. Until he inched out of sight. The end. That inchworm was tricky, but he was right. He was very useful. He measured all those different birds. I love to see birds looking out my window or when I'm outside. And I have seen a robin before and a hummingbird. Sometimes I see birds like cardinals and blue jays and blue birds and sparrows. I love to look at birds. The inchworm liked to measure birds as long as he didn't get eaten. You guys could measure too. There's lots of different standard ways to measure things. One of the measuring tools is a ruler. A ruler has 12 inches on it. 12 inches is called one foot even though this is bigger than my foot. So 12 inches is one foot, and you can measure things, usually that are smaller than 12 inches. So you would start at the top with the one where the book starts, and you would measure all the way down, and it says this book is 10 inches long. Sometimes you need to measure things that are bigger than that, or maybe that aren't flat. I like to use a measuring tape when I sew. I can measure things that go around, like my head is round and it measures 22 inches. Sometimes you'll want to measure something even longer than that. This one's 60 inches long. But I found a tape measure that measures more than 12, more than 60. It measures 25 feet. That's a really long way. If you don't have any of those standard tools of measurement, like a ruler or a tape measure, you could make your own ways to measure. You could use your foot or your hand you could draw something on paper and cut it out. I made a caterpillar. I wonder how many caterpillars tall I am. That would take a lot of caterpillars. Let's see. Let me measure my DVD and see how many caterpillars long it is. It's one. See, I put the end here and then I have to start again. 
See? It's two caterpillars wide. Wonder how cat many caterpillars long it is. We'll turn it this way. One, we start again. Two, and we start again. More than two, but it's a little bit less than three caterpillars long. If you would like to make your own thing to measure with, your own measuring tool, or if you'd like to use a standard measuring tool, go ahead and do that this week and take a picture and send it to Miss Jill. We would love to be able to see that. All right, you guys have a great week looking out for birds, following your listening rules, and measuring things. Bye-bye.